In this video, we are going to cover how to learn advanced IT support related skills. This is for the individuals who have covered our modern IT support courses or they already have basic knowledge on how to maintain computer operating systems, Active Directory, Office 365, and now you would like to get into more of IT support related skills that are used in companies in a more level two or tier two or upper level positions in the same category. So let's talk about this. So I already assumed that you have covered this roadmap and now you're looking into more advanced skills. In IT support category, we have another roadmap called hybrid Windows Desktop Administration Advanced Roadmap. The reason we call it hybrid is because most of the companies are using a hybrid approach towards maintaining their devices um, in 2023 and so on. Next few years is going to be mostly hybrid. And at some point later, a few years later, we may be fully cloud. But for now, it is hybrid. So you're going to start the journey and you can click on start your career journey. So this way you can then see the progress in this roadmap. So just like the first roadmap, we also have two courses that are important in this roadmap. The first one is Advanced IT Support Modern Desktop Administrator Part 1, which is basically covering an older certification MD100. Now, if you know, most of our courses are skills-based courses. So even if it's uh, older certification for Microsoft, we, do, we don't just leave that and jump to extremely new things because new things can take a lot of time for implementations in actual companies. So in actual companies, you're going to come across a, uh, you know, uh, products or devices that are a little older than what Microsoft is trying to sell. So if you want to be prepared for the job, actual job, then you need to actually do these things as well. To start the course, click on advanced IT support title. So let's go ahead and do that. In here, you can check the overview or the curriculum, what is being covered in this, or you can go ahead and click start course. So as you can see, first, you are going to see the introduction of the course, just like any other courses. Then what we have is we have lecture and demo. In this, uh, basically lecture and demo, the purpose is to understand from the lecture and check the demo from practical understanding you're not supposed to actually uh, do the demo or practical uh, labs or things like that this is for you to understand the theoretical part and somebody showing you in a more practical approach so you're going to go through all of these like this and if, if you look at the the content in this type of uh, advanced training then this is where you're going to see a little more stuff like deployments deployment strategies uh, user migrations and stuff like that now, keep in mind that even if you're using Windows 10 here and you're looking at Windows 10, uh, it is going to be almost same skills for Windows 11. I mean, in the beginning, you're trying to learn how to uh, maintain operating system uh, in a more advanced way than previously you have done in the modern, modern uh, you know, uh, fundamentals that you have done before this. So here you're looking into more uh, strategies that are going to in, uh, involve a lot more, uh, you know, advanced skills than, than the previous one. So as you can see, once you cover all of these lectures and demo part, then you're going to come across uh, modules. And this is where you're going to see a video for the labs and you can perform the same labs in your uh, training. So if you uh, open this, you're going to see that we're using MD100 lab, which is accessible to you. So if you uh, actually go back to your uh, roadmap, this is the lab right here. So if I click on it, this is going to directly take you to the MD100 lab. And this is where things will be done more uh, extensively. For example, using WDS, uh, MDT, these are more advanced tools than just normal uh, backing up a computer uh, or things like that, because it involves server setup um, and, uh, you know, more um, advanced settings for operating systems. Once you finish part one, then you can get into part two. The same process applies over here. Just keep in mind that in part two, uh, MD101 is also now retired, almost retired. 102 is available, but we're not going to focus on uh, the, this side because what we have is here. We have a brand new course called Microsoft Endpoint Manager Intune Training. So half of this course is covered in this one in a recent 
uh, you know, uh, uh, skills, features we have shared in this course. Now, I would just recommend you go over this course just as a, let's say in the beginning, you may find something more interesting that is on premises related skills. So the half of the course, like till module 11, you can probably learn something new from this course. But then once you're done with that, and as soon as you see Office 365 is being implemented, you shouldn't continue this course after that, because I would say that because of its cloud technologies, they're getting updated very fast. And we just can't uh, use those type of skills in an older certification. So we have a brand new course called Microsoft Endpoint Manager Intune Training. Then you should jump to this one. Keep in mind that for this, you're going to need your own trial account. We do not give subscription accounts in uh, most of these labs. Some labs like Azure, AWS does have a limited subscription. Even then, we, we recommend our members to get your own pay-as-you-go subscription for cloud. We can cover a lot of labs, servers, routing, switches and limited version of uh, the, the cloud, but we cannot cover subscription where it comes to like app subscription. For example, Office 365 has its own subscription and, and then inside it has many different type of things going on. So we're not gonna cover that in our membership. So we will tell you exactly how to get those trial membership or pay as you go models. So once you go to this course, this should be your like the end of uh, uh, desktop support training. Uh, and once you finish this, you can consider moving up in your career or you can get super advanced into going into Microsoft Intune type of technologies or Microsoft Office 365 and learn it from Microsoft uh, documentation. So those are going to be uh, an additional things that we're going to offer in our, uh, in, our off, uh, in our offerings here. But here you can come over here. It's a huge course, uh, 37 lessons, uh, seven hours, and it's still conti we continue to develop this. So if you finish this course, of course, at the end, you're going to feel like you are know a lot about um, how to manage on-premises and with on-premises, how to use the cloud technology such as Intune. And that is uh, a key to calling yourself an advanced IT professional because that's what we uh, usually, you know, uh, um, kind of like, you know, value those skills. When you know these things, we, we basically say, okay, yeah, you know a lot of good stuff here. So that is what, get your experience. And that is all for how to become advanced IT professional.